guys and welcome to Harmonies from Home. I'm Annabelle and today I'm going to be talking about oboe reeds. So what exactly is an oboe reed? Well it's categorized as a double reed and is made from cutting and shaving down a cane reed. One cane reed is cut into two pieces that are placed face to face and strapped to a piece of cord called a staple. Specifically it is wrapped onto the metal part of the staple with a special kind of thread. The two reeds are curved in a way that allows a gap between them. This tiny gap allows the oboist airstream to pass through and cause vibrations that expand throughout the instrument. The structure of the reed is crucial in making oboe reeds. The main sections are the tip, heart, and back, and specific sections consist of the blunt, spine, windows, and rails. When a reed is past its threading stage but not yet scraped, it is considered a blink. Using a blank, oboists then start to create all of these sections by first scraping the bark away and then starting at the tip. Slowly and carefully, the rest of the sections are scraped till they are balanced. When first creating a reed, not one of these sections are scraped all the way first. Oboists have to make sure to go back and forth between sections so the reed is evenly balanced. Reeds are usually not perfect in just a few days and are always adjusted when needed. Reeds differ in many ways, but places that sell reeds usually classify them into categories labeled soft, medium, and hard. The more cane there is on a reed, the more resistant, and the less cane there is, the less resistant. That is why most beginners start on softer reeds and gradually shift to harder reeds as their embouchures change and they start to learn how to adjust them. Oboists normally soak their reeds for about one or two minutes before playing and last for about a month, depending on how much you play on them. The more you play on them, the shorter they last. Reeds should be suited for individual oboists, which is why oboists learn to scrape their own reeds. Musicians learn as they make reeds, and it's all down to practice. Making reeds is a whole different challenge for oboists, and it takes about a thousand reeds to start to get the hang of it. I hope this helped you learn something new about the oboe, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Harmonies from Home, and I'll see you in another video.